I've got a quick demonstration to show you how convection works. So I have cold water and warm water. The cold water is approximately 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the warm water is approximately 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to watch what happens when we stack these. Here's the tricky part. So I'm gonna take a, a cold water one and try to put it... Oops. <laughs> On top of the warm water one. Yep, I made a huge mess here. And now on the other side, I'm gonna take, try to stack the warm side on top of the cold side. Hey, that looks better. Okay. So the reason it looks like they're moving around is because I've got some mica powder inside of the water here. Um, helps you to see the currents a little bit better. Fluids want to move based on the differences in density. On this side, I've stacked the more dense substance, the cold water, on top of the warm. This side, I've got the less dense substance on top of the more dense one. The less dense substance always wants to go to the top. That means is, if I take out the barrier here, it doesn't mix. So I already have the less dense substance on top, on this side. So I've got no mixing going on. On this side, when I take out the debarrier, it's going to want to mix because I've got the more dense substance sitting on top. So the mixing that you're about to see is due to what's called convection. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is convection. So you notice that the cold water on the top is trying to push its way down into the warm and the warm water is rising. You can actually see rising plumes of warm water going into the cold on the other side. Meanwhile, its partner on the other side is doing absolutely nothing. So let's change that. I'm gonna try to flip this side over. Beautiful color. Okay, let's flip it over. And now we get mixing. I love the way that this looks. So again, you can actually see the rotation that you're getting here. The warm fluid wants to rise, the cold fluid wants to sink, and it's spreading the heat around through convection. 